was looking at the list and the biggest thing was the drive shaft and guess what I got freaking got the drive shaft from the guys uh, great place out here by me they're called CSR drive shafts Charleston South Carolina um, they painted it uh, they balanced it new U joints and everything uh, and it was two hundred and eight dollars so balance new U joints uh, and coat of paint on it because it was all it was all that gray rusty all the way around I mean they didn't do a fantastic job on the paint but I don't have to throw a paint on it now uh, you know coat of paint on it all right before my battery dies let's see what we got done today check it out got that grill in I got I got the hood painted and primed and I got a bolt hole and I got a mounting spot back here I got to get a longer uh, M6 125. Um, got some new screws for these bezels. Got all this mounted, but I've actually got to um, do the uh, bumper first. Had to notch the grill here, here, and then I had to notch the balance piece as well um, and then I've got to get a bolt up under here so this body line will be right but all that stuff's on there I don't have that much more to mount to get that front done the hood latch will be good um, I did not get the battery mount for support done think about just doing a piece of metal from here, the side of here, something like that, something, something, figure out something. Oh, and I just remembered this leaks in a steam vent, so I'm gonna have to do something like that. Gonna have to figure something out. Um, yeah, oh, <clears throat> got the windows cleaned front and back, everything is good. Cleaned out the back of the truck. Check that out. Oh yeah. Got the wheel chocks in the bed of the truck. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Better yet, I'll show you. get some stuff going here because you don't need wheel chocks when you can actually put your truck in park and back it up check that out goes forward and backwards now uh, my next day off definitely got to do the uh, battery mount get that front end fixed um, we're finished up and the other day I also did a, a block off plate under here next to the uh, steering thing so that's where we're at I am done for the day so I'm trying to get the front end together and uh, first thing I noticed was the bumper was way off side to side, um, so I actually just uh, uh, loosened the core support, bumped the core support over, uh, fixed the gap there, but then the next thing I noticed was um, the bumper actually sits right about flush right here, maybe a little bit up, and on this side, it literally sits down here like an inch inch and a quarter below and then when I got to looking I'm like man that is not a factory weld right there what the hell is that look over here it's nice and smooth look 
go over here, nice and smooth. Go over here, it's not nice and smooth. And it's lowered down, and you can see right there where that's kind of like pushed out. So, this whole bracket needs to come up. Um, so I thought, hey, let's just figure out where the holes need to be. Boom, boom, put two holes there. And we'll raise it up on one side and be nice and straight. Except there is not enough room to do that. The whole bracket actually needs to be cut out and moved up. And guess who's not doing that? I'm not doing that. No. Not going to happen. No, no, no. Um, and the reason I can't just move it straight up is because there's not enough clearance. Like, you know, getting the bolt back here. I can get the bolt back there, but um, tightening it down. And then, too, the bumper was hitting down here. So if we move it up, like, it's so close right here. Um, or here, sorry, here. That, like, it literally just needs to move up. So yeah, um, that sucks, but I'm trying to get this front end done today. We'll see what we can do. It's on there, but the problem is, got a major gap right there. So I cannot attach a little balance piece. And there wouldn't be such a bad thing. Just leave this off, right? But this is actually what holds part of the headlights and grill assembly so it looks like I'm gonna have to leave the bumper off leave the bumper off and I can put everything else on oh, man I really don't want to yeah you know what? I'm gonna work on the battery tray um, oh yeah I already started um, so I got this little piece cardboard okay Cardboard, cardboard Ada Designs from CAD. I think it's basically going to go like this. It's going to go right there. It's going to be held up against that support. It's going to come under here, tie under here, and then go through that bolt right there. Right there. And that'll hold the back. I'm going to pull off of here. Boom, boom, boom. It'll be up tight against that. Um, cut that out. Make that. We should be good and then revisit this bumper at some other time because I just feel defeated after all the work I've done to it. I'm just like, ugh, kind of, ugh. So let's get something done. Let's get this battery tray done. So I get to looking and look at the spacing under there. It's like, I don't know, half an inch or so between the top of it and the bottom of it. On this side, somebody obviously re-welded it flush. See how it's flush? We're actually a little bit lower. So, what I'm thinking is, got into a front end accident. They redid it by some guy in his garage. Put it on there, welded it too low. Didn't have it up high enough. Threw the bumper off and all that. So, I guess I had to cut and weld and do shit anyways. So, here we are. Got this side cut off. It's a. Uh, it's loose. So, yep. Pull this thing off and I might weld it today, I might weld it tomorrow. Um, battery tray stuff is painted, waiting to go in. It's my nice little L bracket to hold it in. Painted the tray, even though it's a piece of crap. Um, we we're pretty much all wrapped up under here. Only thing I have to do is this spark plug wire. So, because it's the truck style with the little thing, it goes straight over and it hits the steering shaft. So, I either need to get a longer one or I need one that's like at a 45 degree and goes straight to there. Um, everything else is done. You know, battery's good, engine sensors, fend uh, not fender wells, but like the body panels are all on there and I got the front end done everything's good um, had to actually cut the bumper support and move it up to get the bumper on and the top balance on and the grill and all that and it's still messed up because I really need to replace that fender but it's on there it's not going anywhere and it's doing its job so that's where we're at with the truck she's on there she's good to go just 
just gotta wait. Spark plug wire, air filter, insurance and tags, and then we start driving her around. And I'm gonna mess with the tune a little bit. Gotta get to editing these videos. So, I'll see you guys on the next one. I don't know what the next video is gonna be. It'll be something. All right, probably my first draft, like actual draft. Later, bye.